If you are looking for a healthy and affordable dish for the holidays, we have got you covered. I'm here with Caroline Carney, who is a registered dietitian and the vice president of Good Measures. Now, you've been on the show before, but for anyone who doesn't know, can you tell us a little bit about what Good Measures is all about? I would love to, and so glad to be back. Um, so Good Measures, uh, we are a, a program that helps you feel your best one bite at a time. Uh, so we do that by giving you your own personal expert coach, someone like me, you work with over the phone, one-on-one, uh, -on -one, and we help you achieve your health goals. We also give you an app that's personalized just for you, uh, that gives you some education, most importantly, some meal suggestions and ideas, and that combination of the, the human and the technology is gonna keep you on track, keep you motivated, um, and really excited to be here today to, to share a little bit about what we're what we're cooking. Okay, I love this. It smells so good in here. And the one thing too about Good Measures is you don't have to give up your favorite food. So what are we making today? Yes. Um, so I'm really excited to, um, to share this recipe for winter braised eggs. Uh, comfort food, um, but done, done healthy. And uh, very budget friendly, uses humble ingredients, everyday ingredients, but um, really elevates it uh, to be more of a festive dish. And it's one of the, the many recipes that you can expect to find as part of uh, Healthy Weight, which is a new program we just launched uh, in collaboration with WellCare. Uh, so if you have Medicaid with WellCare, you can join Healthy Weight and, uh, and get access to recipes in your coaching and uh, what better time to start a program like Healthy Weight uh, than the new year. Exactly, all right, I'm ready for you to jump right, in yes. here. Okay, so what is this dish? We have um, sauteing uh, onions with olive oil, uh, jarred roasted red peppers, so things you know you might have in your cupboard. And then I'm gonna put in a couple cloves of garlic. Love that, big And fan. that cooks. You don't wanna get anything brown, you just want it to be softened. Uh, and I know it smells so good and um, full of nutrition, so really good uh, vitamins and minerals in here. And then we're gonna add some, uh, some more, you know, things that you'll find in your pantry, just some canned tomatoes. So a 28 ounce can of tomatoes, you mash that up. Uh, we'll let that, you know, cook down a little bit. And, um, and then we add some seasoning. So cumin, we'll do a teaspoon of that. And some paprika. And this really is like a comfort food, which I'm all about. Yeah, and it makes a great, um, really inexpensive breakfast, brunch, lunch, I mean, even for dinner, and it's gonna serve uh, you know, a good, good group of people. So um, really easy. And then the finishing touch here, crack some eggs into the dish. And, uh, and once it's all uh, simmering uh, for a, about 10 minutes or so, you put it in the oven so the eggs get firm. You don't need to mix them in and uh, top it maybe with a little bit of cheese and um, serve with your favorite whole grain starch. So bread, uh, brown rice, uh, whole grain pasta, and um, it will keep you going all winter long. This is my favorite too, because it really is easy if you just stick it in the oven. So you just kind of put all the stuff together, stick it in the oven. I'm all about like anything that's, yeah, like just stick it in the oven and let it cook. Yes, yes, very simple. I love that. And where can we learn more about Good Measures? Yes, yeah, so you can go to uh, wellcarehealthky.goodmeasures.com. Uh, learn more about Good Measures and the Healthy Weight program. All right, let's see this finished product. Are we ready all for right, this? Yes, we're ready, we're ready. Wow, that looks seriously amazing. It it's, looks delicious and it's beautiful. I love that. Caroline, thank you so much for cooking with us today. Thank you for, thank you for having me. For Great Day Live, I'm Joanne Dixon.